As a network admin, you probably faced this problem before where you had to connect remotely to your network device without being in the same room. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the best tools that you can use to connect remotely to your router, switch, firewall, or any other network device, whether you are on Windows or Linux. Let's go. Okay, let's start with the native tools. And these are the ones that come already pre-installed inside the operating system. On Windows, for example, we have the command prompt. So if we search for CMD, that's going to open command prompt. And by default, we can use SSH to connect to network devices. So for instance, if I try to connect to vManage that I have running, so that should be 43100. And let's see if I can connect using SSH. Yeah, so I'm connected to this remote device using SSH. Now, another option is to use Telnet. The thing is that Telnet is not enabled by default. So if I use Telnet and let's see if I can try to connect to 4330 and let's see this device, Telnet uh, 30331. So Telnet is not recognized. So the first thing we have to do is to install this feature inside Windows. And to do that, I'm going to type here on Windows and panel. And we go to programs and features and then we go to turn windows features on or off and here we're going to search for telnet client so it should be here telnet client allows you to connect to other computers remotely all you have to do is to enable this box and click ok and it's going to install the telnet application okay telnet is enabled now so we can close this and also this window so now let's try to connect again and it's trying oh it couldn't connect probably i'm using too many zeros there yeah that's the reason so now we are connected to switch for using telnet on linux we also have a pre-installed application that's the terminal so if i just search for terminal and now let's try to use ssh to connect to vmanage again okay so it's going to ask for uh, fingerprint between uh, the server, in this case Linux, and vManage. So yes, and I'm going to type the password. Okay, and I'm connected on vManage. And we can also use Telnet. We don't have to install. And I believe that was 4313030C1. And yeah, we can still use SSH and Telnet at the same time on Linux. Okay, so now let's talk about some tools that you can install on Windows just for better experience. And first one is Putty. Putty is probably the most well-known application that you can use to connect remotely to network devices on Windows. It is super light to use and very easy. So I'm going to show you. So I have already installed. So I'm just going to search for Putty. And this is what we have to do. So we have just to select the connection type and then type the IP address or the name of the network device we want to connect to. I'm going to use the same IP address as I used before. That's going to be 192.168.43.100. And the connection type is SSH. So all I have to do is to connect. And because I'm connecting for the first time, it's going to ask to confirm for the fingerprint. So I'm just going to accept and I'm going to log in. Okay, and I'm connected on vManage. So I'm going to log out. And I can also use Party to connect using Telnet. I'm going to bring Party again. And so now let's select the other IP. So that was uh, 4330 and the port was 30331. And we want to use Telnet. So we're going to select other and then going to open. And now we should be inside switch four. And the best thing about party is that we can save the sessions that we create so for example so let's say that i want to connect 192.168.43.100 and i want to save this and i can just type the ip address and then save this session actually i have to type the name so let's say this is uh v manage and we're going to save this so if i close this and i open party again 
I have the manage, I just have to select here and I'm going to connect on the network device that I saved the session before. There's also Super Party that essentially allows you to have tabs to connect to multiple devices at the same time. So I'm just not going to cover this one because the next one is very similar to Super Party, but with some bonus. So it's going to be M Remote NG. So M Remote NG allows you to use uh, applications such as Telnet, SSH, RDP and many others. So I have some sessions already saved here, as you can see, and you can organize them in folders, which helps a lot if you're someone like me that likes the lab all the time and have many labs. And after some time, you might forget which device you're using in which lab. So by organizing into folders just makes it a lot easier when I have to lab again. So for instance, so let's create a new connection. So I'm just going to call uh, vmanage and it doesn't want, so vmanage, okay. And here I'm going to change the protocol instead of RDP to SSH and I'm going to select SSH version two. And here in connection, I'm going to type the IP address that's going to be 43100 and I can type the username or just uh, provide these when I try to initiate the connection. I'm just going to initiate and it should prompt for the username and password. Yes, I'm going to type the username and the password and we are connected. And at the same time, I can create a new connection. So let's suppose switch four and here we want to change this to Telnet and the host name is going to be 192.168.43.30 and I want to change the port to be 30331 let's try to connect it should open session 2 switch 4 the last two is M Remote X term so let me open this let's see the application essentially this application allows you to use the same types of protocols just like M Remote so I'm just going to show you how to connect to vManage using the SSH. So here on session, I'm going to start a new session. So I'm going to select SSH. So the remote host that should be 192.168.43.100 and the username that should be uh, specify username admin. So let's connect. So we have to confirm because this is the first time I'm connecting to vManage. Just accept now the password. Do you want to save for this admin? No, I don't want, but in case we want, we can save the password and we are connected inside vManage. So now let's try using Telnet. So I'm going to start a new session, select Telnet and the host should be 192.168.43.30. No username. The port is 30311. Let's connect and it should be inside switch four and unless I use the wrong port. So let me double check on this one. So it should be 30331. Let's try it again. So use Telnet 4330. So that should be 30331. And let's try to connect again. Okay, and we are inside Switch 4. Okay, so these are the best tools that you can use for free to connect remotely to your network devices. If you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.